Hey everyone, it is Damon here. We are back on the realm of Vastin. Today we're building in the end. We're taking on another Builder's Guild quest. Uh, all that and more right after this. Okay, so we are here. This is the whole building for the Builder's Guild. I can't remember if... Oh, I'm... I am very... I have no... And it's... Eh. Okay, we made it. <laughs> all right. Um, this is Port Bray, by the way. This is uh, this is all of the ships. Uh, anyways, I can't remember if I've ever shown you guys the Builder Guild uh, as a whole. So that's uh, that's it. It's a nice little building here. Um, let's stick the landing. Not be bad at Minecraft like we were earlier. And let's go check out what quest we're going to do today. So just kind of wanted to run through uh, my thought process on this. So during the off season, uh, my main two projects are going to be Builders Guild and uh, my personal base. I want to get uh, enough Builders points that when next season, when we decide what we're going to go and do um, for the next Unbreaking, uh, that I'll actually have some points stored up so I can go and get whatever item that is, uh, and then I can get to work on the kingdom and not have to go and wait around uh, and do some quests in season. Um, and I want to try to get all of these single player quests on camera. So uh, let's go right here. Uh, first book, uh, Kalahal Build a Guild. Uh, we have already done that. So that's going to be a nope. Uh, Brindenford. Okay. I think I know where that is. Um, that'd be a, a quick little sheet pen. I think that one would almost be better off camera. And new Talatol. Uh, build a house and a shop. So that's the one we're going to do. I think I'm going to actually keep this Brindenford one, though, uh, as well, because I think that'll be useful um, just to go and knock out a sheep farm, take a couple hours and get through it. So this is cool. Yeah, uh, this whole building's getting a nice revamp and it's fun. So, all right, uh, I'm going to meet you guys over at New Talatal and we're going to decide what we're going to do for a uh, for these houses. So I don't think I've ever been on a trip to New Talatal with you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how we get there. This is our Port Bray Church of the End. Uh, it's a fun little one. Um, that little bit of water at the bottom kind of breaks immersion here, but uh, that's called the Leap of Faith. Uh, you jump through there and then this here, this is our actual uh, end temple. You can't, you can't really see the bottom here. Um, so this, is everything that you go through on your way down and you end here and so this is kind of just the fun fall so you actually that piece all the way up there was at max build height and it used to be that you could drop down into this end portal and you would be instantly teleported to the end um, unfortunately because uh, Minecraft lag exists that's no longer the case and so if you dropped right into the end portal um, you would spawn into the end and you would die instantly from fall damage um, because it wouldn't register uh, all of the water pouring in so we've redone this whole area fix built this awesome airship here so this uh, are these are our two fast travels to the adventurer guild and to the airship I want to go and step out here just to go and show you guys, uh, that's that's an old ender ender. Um, so this is the ship that you come in to, to the end on. And when you go and do the teleport, this was season four that this got, uh, that this got set up. Nope, that's into the ship proper. That's not where I wanna go. This is where I wanna go. Uh, you end up in New Talatal. So this is a very short uh, kind of view of it. Um, it's a really, really nice uh, place. Let's, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick cinematic shot of this.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic bit of, uh, of an overview of new Talatol. So I found where I'm gonna go and build. <laughs> I'm a pumpkin head. It's, it's very useful when you're building here in the end, otherwise you just, yeah, these things just come at you incessantly. So I'm over here. I'm thinking this is gonna be the site of maybe a shop. I'm actually thinking of doing a little pumpkin shop of some sort. So we've got a bunch of farms floating around here. Uh, just because the idea would be that they would all have the ability to go and produce their own food here in the end. And so this is a bit of a bare spot here. So I'm thinking of extending this road, bringing it up uh, to kind of connect up in here so that you can access this area. Now this area here is uh, yet another little farm. Um, I think it's producing obsidian. No. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's doing something. I'm not really sure. I think it might be melons or something there. But yeah, so just to have kind of like a little fruit farm of some sort. Uh, we'll do a little building right in here. We'll have a little walkway going up and around. And then I think I just want to do a little archway connecting it in with another smaller little like, I don't know, house or something. Uh, all the buildings here in New Talatol are very elven-y because New Talatol is an elven city. Uh, so in our vast and lore, elves moved to the end um, because they were really unhappy uh, that some people didn't show up for a war when they said they would, and so the elves just uh, caused a massive explosion, ripped a hole through the center of Talatol, um, left a massive rift there, or not Talatol, uh, White Sands is, is where it is now. Um, turned all the sand white and then disappeared here where they've built a whole ton of like combination of high elf and like steampunk fusion because um, there's like some of these things which are just more elven technology based but yeah everything here looks super cool um, I'm gonna have to go and grind for a few blocks uh, so that I can actually go and build something so we're gonna do the one shop over there and then we'll find another spot for a house so I'll come back once I've gotten some materials and I'm getting started on the shop Okay guys, so here I am. I have worked out a design for these two houses and gone and put up well, the, the vast majority of it. I've got to go and detail everything. I've got to put in these windows. I've got to actually put in some walls down here and I've got to put in a road that goes from here down around this section and then comes out here. Uh, a few other things but so the idea here so I've, I've got to build a house and a shop um, they're going to be connected so that's going to be the house this is going to be the shop there's going to be some house stuff I think up there too so the idea is going to be you're going to come in here from the road right down here is going to be like a little main shop area this wall here actually goes back into uh, let me see can I yep that's the pumpkin farm so I, I think it's going to be kind of uh, kind of cool to go and make this the pumpkin shop uh, of New Talatol. And so then you go up this little staircase that is a little janky because of windows. And you got a nice kind of like big area. So I'm thinking this might be something else shop related. Uh, maybe some storage, maybe like some barrels and stuff up here. Regardless, this is going to be more shop related. And then there's going to be a little windy staircase like in the corner or something going up to the top level. Uh, over here... Uh, I haven't done a ton of placement of stuff. That's gonna be a little fireplace. I'm gonna do interiors on these, so I'm not gonna feel bad that it's technically one house even though it's connected. Um, you've got this fun little bridge here that goes over. You got a nice big living space here, which is very nice. Uh, this is gonna be another pretty large living space. So this is gonna be like living room, living room. Um, and then I'll probably do a bedroom up here, which actually has a nice little skylight to the end. So yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. Um, I think it's coming together really well. I, I like the look of it. I, I actually really liked that. So I did it on this side and then also over on this far side. So I just did two of them. And then these sides I kept straight just because I didn't want to go like too hyper fancy. But one of the things I'm actually thinking of adding somewhere is doing one of these little swirls, um, maybe like on this side going like down and around there. So kind of like up like that into the roof. And I, I think that would be kind of cool and add a little bit of interest to this side because the other side has that extra house. This side needs a little bit of extra something. Um, and then up here, gonna frame out some windows, add a few more bushes. These are actually, I don't have them on me. These are oak leaves. 
Uh, so oak leaf, purple leaf. I love end texture packs. <laughs> so yeah, this this is why I love building in this texture pack. It's so awesome for builders. But yeah, so that's that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna bring you guys back when I have uh, these houses finished. Um, maybe I'll do a bit of interior. Like I'm, I'm gonna definitely do the interior of the shop and I'll, I'll try to actually at the very least block out these houses. Who knows, I might actually do some interior building in this episode. And then, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, catch you guys in a sec. Bam, we're finished. I even did an interior through most of it. This is, uh, <laughs> this is the end product, guys. Uh, this whole, this house looked really cool. And uh, we have we have the shop. We have what it did. These shears might give it away. It's a carved pumpkin shop. So you'd go in here. You'd buy yourself a carved pumpkin. Uh, you're in the end. So in order to get an Enderman to not murder you, you got to have a carved pumpkin on your head. Uh, our texture pack makes it so that it doesn't have the uh, annoying overlay because we built here for an entire season. So that would have just been brutal. But yeah, this this whole place it looks really cool. Okay, let's let's check out the interior, which I have gone around and actually added all of the flowers. So, you would go through here. I added these trap doors just to open up this area. This is just kind of a small little living space slash office space slash meeting area um, so that you could actually go and like hold some stuff for jack-o'-lantern parties. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of pulling at straws here a little bit, but yeah, uh, it's, it's something. Um, this is just kind of a nice little window. This is the stairs up, and then here you have a little couch area. Uh, the bedroom, which is serviceable. Let's get rid of that torch. That's much better. <laughs> um, I should. I'll, I'll finish that at some point. But yeah, you've got a, a lot of really nice stuff here. This is the little master bedroom. You got a little table. You got a little kind of carpety area. You got some photos and this big skylight, which is kind of cool. Um, it's in the end, so <laughs> not much to see. And then this is the main living kitchen area. So you got a small little kitchen set up, uh, a couple little tables, a couple shelf through boxes I have not cleaned up. Look, here's, here, oh, 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 the lag, the lag. There it goes. <laughs> here's, here's all of my interior uh, design stuff because, you know, gotta actually have a box for that now because I'm doing interiors. And then down here, this is the sitting room living area. So this is at the uh, the main level of the other house. So yeah, that that is it, guys. I'm going to go into a lore segment here. So yeah, if you enjoyed, consider uh, leaving a like, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see on the channel. And uh, if you want to keep up with videos of mine, uh, subscribe. Yep, uh, it'll be fun. Okay, cool. Uh, here's the lore segment. When the elves of Talatol, now known as White Sands, teleported to the end, they found their lives constantly hampered by the aggressive Endermen that inhabited these dark lands. While friendships were eventually formed with the king of these Endermen, the best deterrent is still scrunching a carved pumpkin down on your head and breathing in the goop and rot of a recently hollowed out pumpkin. Goopman's Fine Carved Pumpkins was quickly established and remains the most popular and least disgusting carved pumpkin shop in New Talatol to this day. Goopman's offers a range of carved pumpkins, from isosceles triangles to equilateral triangles, and some premium models even have padding on their interior, so the wearer is comfortable and does not have to clean leftover pumpkin from their hair after use. Goopmans, for all your pumpkin needs. Disclaimer, this ad not paid for by Goopmans. Damon did not use Goopmans fine carved pumpkin for building these houses. Goopmans and Damon Atnot Gaming are in no way associated, and 50% of all new sales generated by Goopmans within the next 48 hours are definitely not going to Damon Atnot.